Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rat Shack. <clears throat> Today we are going to be reviewing, video reviewing, the newest tool by Zebra Instruments called the Phaser. Yes, that's the name of it, the Phaser. Spock, where's my Phaser? No, not this one, the three-phase power analyzer. That's right, the three-phase power analyzer. Okay. So this is the phaser. It's a little black box, not much bigger than the remote you can see here. Thicker, obviously. There's the difference there. Um, this is a demo unit designed to go on store counters. And the only way this one differs is this little black button right here that allows this demo model to go through the various modes of analysis. In all other respects, it's just like the phaser I have out in the truck. Same black box, same books on the inside, aluminum face, leads, the whole nine yards. So, you know, I'm going to use this for the video review just because uh, I'm at home and I don't have three phase power. So, this is just like the one I have, except for the button that lets us go through the different modes. Okay, when you open the phaser, you have a three phase, three leads, you have a green for ground, and you have red, white, and blue for A, B, and C, or L1, L2, L3. First thing you want to do is take your green lead, hook it up to ground, turn the unit on. You'll see that there's three modes, on with beeps, off with silence, and off, obviously. We're going to run the demo in silent mode, but just know that when you have it in the beeps, it makes a lot of noise for the different analysis, and we'll run through those at the end of the video. The blinking light that you see here is, what that means is the battery's low. So the first mode is when you hook your red lead up, you get an A-phase LED lit up. You hook your uh, white lead up, you get a uh, C-phase, and you hook your blue up and then you have this gives you the rotation counterclockwise rotation is good the green LED on this side lights up this is your voltage check green is good that means that the voltage imbalance is less than three and a half percent between all three phases this is counter rotation on your three phase um, but the voltage is still good as you can see we have counter rotation good good voltage this, the, the red LED blinking here, tells us that we have a voltage imbalance that is greater than 3.5%. And, you know, we all know that if it's greater than 3.5%, don't start the equipment up. You're going to burn a compressor up or motors or whatever. So this, this demo tells us that we have proper phase rotation, but in proper uh, we have a fa uh, voltage imbalance. This demonstration is demonstrating ghost phase, or what uh, Bob Lee calls pseudo phase. You can see that the A and B phases are blinking, and or that the B and C phases are blinking, and the A phase isn't. It's just stay on. One of the things that three phase the phaser does is it checks all three phases for voltage, and if you have one phase that's dead, like um, it's got three separate breakers for each phase, and one of them is tripped or whatever the reason the phaser checks the voltage on all three phases and if two phases are the same angle or the same frequency then it shows up as ghost phase so what that tells you is you have voltage on all three phases because you're getting feedback through motor windings or heat strips in an air handler or something like that but that you really have a dead phase here um, this this would be extremely helpful on those air handlers that you hook up where you have a dead phase but you you check power from um, L1, L2 and L3 to ground but it shows you have power on all of them when in actuality you're checking two, one phase twice because you're getting feedback through the heat strips that's pretty cool and it does this is just the demo dance this thing will sit here and do this a little bit and then it will start to go through all the uh, the phases again so we're going to run it through in uh, where it's making noise now Battery indicator, L1, L2, 
proper rotation, proper voltage, improper rotation, proper voltage, proper rotation, improper voltage, voltage imbalance, ghost phase. You'll notice the last two are totally silent. So it's kind of like your wife in that respect. When it goes silent, something bad's about to happen. Uh, when it stops beeping and making noise, that tells you there's an error uh, somewhere. Either you have a voltage imbalance or you get the, the ghost face, so you need to uh, check something out. And it's pretty loud. I mean, I don't know, I guess the camera's about three and a half feet away, so it's pretty loud. You should be able to hear it in the mechanical room uh, fairly easy. And that's the demo dance. Like I said, your phaser won't do this little dance right here, but uh, this one does. That's it for the phaser. Uh, you know, there's operating instructions right here in the lid. Plus, it comes with the uh, familiar green zebra stripe book that we're we're familiar with from Zebra Instruments. Same hard plastic ABS case as all the others. Nice aluminum. One thing that's a little different on the phaser than um, some of the other Zebra instruments is this actually uses a battery. Um, to change the battery, it's pretty simple, but don't take the four face plate screws out here and here. On the sides, uh, here there's a screw hole and flip it around, and here's another screw hole. Take those screws out, the whole face plate comes off. It's a 9 volt battery, stick a new 9 volt battery in it, stick it in, and you're ready to go. And uh, Really, that's it. Very basic, uh, but pretty handy tool to have around, especially uh, starting up chillers, screw chillers, and things like that that can't can't handle any kind of reverse rotation during startup. You know, it's a lot better than bumping contactors and checking all that stuff out. Uh, that way, you know, you just hook the phaser up and you go. Uh, you know, Bob Leak, the owner of, of Zebra Instruments, will be the first to tell you that that. A couple of pretty good meters will do the same thing, but this does all the math for you. It takes the guesswork out of it. You hook it up. It's you get go or no go on the lights. Pretty simple stuff. His website is www.zebrainstruments.com. The number is one eight 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 Hi Zebra H I Z E B R A. Give him a call. Go to his website and uh, ask him questions. He's a great guy. Real real approachable, and uh, he'll answer any questions you have help you with anything, warranty work, whatever you need done on any of your zebra instruments. So uh, check it out. I think you like it.